Asher Bagarvanu Miko Hanim, Venatan Manu et Torto, Borokata Adonai no Ten Hatorat. My Aunt Moshe et Yado Al Hayam by Lech Adonai. Et Hayam Baruch Kadim Azah, Kol Halila by Sam et Hayam. Laharava Bayibaku Hamai. Bayavo U Vene Israel Beto Haya Bayabesha Behamain Lahem Homa Mimi Nam Umismola. Bayer de Fu meets Ryan Bayavo U Aha Rehem Kol Sus Paro Riklo Ufarasav El Tahayam Bayahi Baash Moret Haboker Bayash Kaif Adonai El Makane meets Ryan Bay by Amud Esh by Anan by Ham et Makane Mitzrayim by Asar et Opan Mar Kavotav by Nachagehu Big Vedut by Omer Mitzrayim Anusa Mipne Yisrael Ki Adonai Nilham Lahem Mitzrayim Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Natan Lanu Torah Emet He shelf taught at Israel, but at Hahi. Vehi yo shevet tacha tomer devra, vein harama u vein bait el, bahar ephraim, vaya alu elav halu, siva adonai, bene Israel, lamish pat. Vatish lak vati kra levera, vein avino wam, mi kedesh naftali, vat tomer elav halu. Siva Adonai, Elohe Israel, Lech Umashachta Behar, Velakachta Imcha Aseret Alafim, Eish Makane Mitzrayim, Naftali Umibne Zevulin, Umashachta Elecha Anacha Kishon, Et Sisra Tsar Tiva Avin, Va Et Rikbo Va Et Hamono Untatihu Beodecha. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Malach HaOlam Tzur Ko HaOlamin Tzadik Becho HaDerot HaEl HaNeeman HaOmer VeOseh HaMdeber UmKayen Shekol Devarav Emet VaTzedek Al HaTorah VeAl HaAvodah VeAl HaNviim VeAl Yom HaShabbat HaZeh Shinatata Lanu, Adonai Eloheinu, Likti Shavli Nucha, Lechavut Uti Faret, Alhako, Adonai Eloheinu, and Nachnu Modin La, Umvarkim Uta, Yid Barak Shimcha, Bifiko Chai Tami Leolam Ba'ed, Baruk Ata Adonai, Mikadesh Hashabai. Now Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapido, was judging Israel at that time. She used to sit under the palm of Deborah between Ramah and, the Beth and Bethel in the hill country of Ephraim. And the people of Israel came up to her for judgment. She sent and summoned Barak, the son of Abinoam, from Kadesh Naphtali, and said to him, has the Lord, the God, the God of Israel, commanded you? Go gather your men at Mount Tabor, taking 10,000 from the people of Naphtali and the people of Zebulun. And I will draw out Sisra, the general of Japheth's army, to meet you by the river Kishon with his chariots and his troops. And I will give him into your hand. Barak said to her, If you will go with me, I will 
will go, but if you will not go with me, I will not go. And she said, I will surely go with you. Nevertheless, the road on which you are going will not lead you to glory, for the Lord will thrust Sisera into the hand of a woman. Then Deborah arose and went with Barak to Kadesh. And Barak called out Zebulun and Naphtali to Kadesh. And ten thousand men, with, men went with him up at his heels, and Deborah went up with him. Now Heber the Kenite had separated from the Kenites, the descendants of Hobab, the father-in-law of Moses, and had pitched his tent as far away as the oak in Za'anim, which is near Kadesh. When Sisera was told that the Barak, Barak, the son of Abinoam, had gone up to Mount Tabor, Sisera called out all his chariots, 900 chariots of iron, and all the men who were with him, from Hirshith Hagoyim to the river Kishon. And Deborah said to Barak, up, for this is the day in which the Lord has given Sisera into your hand. Does the Lord go out before you? So Barak went down from Mount Tabor with 10,000 men following him. I have three lessons from the story of Deborah. It says in Judges 4, 12-13, When Sisera was told that Barak, the son of Abinoam, had gone up to Mount Tabor, Sisera called out all his chariots, 900 chariots of iron, and all the men who were with him, from Harashith Hagoyim to the river Kishon. In Judges chapter 4, the first lesson is to think before you act upon something. This is really important because Jabin commanded Sisera to meet Barak at the Kishon River with his 900 iron chariots. In this case, Sisera and his whole army got killed because of a command that Jabin gave. Another example is when Moses split the Red Sea and the Israelites crossed through it. Pharaoh commanded his army, whole army to go after them. In the end, Pharaoh's whole army drowned. The reason why Pharaoh's army and Sisera's army were defeated is because Pharaoh and Jabin did not think before they charged after Israel. Pharaoh should have thought that since God was holding back the Red Sea for the Israelites, God would definitely not hold it back for the enemy. Jabin should have thought that after the Israelites invited him and his army to meet at the river Kishon, that it was the rainy season and that the river would overflow. Therefore, all 900 big, heavy chariots would get stuck in the mud and trapped. When I say that they would get trapped, I mean that Jabin's army is down in the mud, while 10,000 Israelites are up on the hillside shooting down at the enemy because they cannot go anywhere. Also, if they try to step out of the chariot, they would start to sink, and if they ran, they would get shot. Lesson 2. In Judges 4, 9, Nevertheless, the road on which you are going will not lead you to glory, for the Lord will sell Sisera into the hand of a woman. Women are just as important as men to God. Yes. In Judges chapter In Judges chapter four, verse nine, it says that God will deliver Sisera not into the hands of a man, but in the hands of a woman. In Judges chapter 4, verses 9, Deborah the prophetess also says to Barak that nevertheless the road on which you are on will not lead you to glory. Out of all Israel and out of every person that lives in Israel, God chose a woman to be a prophetess to speak to personally. Not only did God pick a woman to be his prophetess, but she was also a judge and a commander. You might be thinking, why a commander? Big deal. But she commanded 10,000 men. Did I say men? Yes, men. <laughs> In Judges 4, verses 23 through 24, it says, So on that day God subdued Jabin, the king of Canaan, before the people of Israel. And the hand of the people of Israel pressed harder and harder against Jabin, the king of Canaan, until they destroyed Jabin, king of Canaan. We can rest knowing that the enemies of God's people will always fail in the end. King Jabin was oppressing <laughs> Israel by riding into the cities where the Hebrews lived. He took whatever he pleased, and that slowly made Israel poor. The Israelites got tired of being oppressed, so they repented, and God forgave them, restoring his relationship with them. Then they planned to fight Sisera, and God delivered Sisera into the hands of the Israelites. There have always been enemies of God since the beginning of mankind. First there was Satan, who is still around today. Then there is Pharaoh. Next there was Jabin. Then after Jabin was Haman. Then Adolf Hitler, and now Isis. There have always been tyrants in this world, but just keep in mind, tyrants never win in the end. In conclusion, I, uh, you should think before you, before you act, because like in basketball, you don't just pass someone the ball without looking and hope for the best. Also, women are just as important as men. If you look backwards, if there weren't women, 
what men would be clueless, and if there were women, there'd be no reproduction. If there's no reproduction, there's no future, and if there's no future, there's no hope. And if there's no hope, there's no natural growth, and if there's no natural growth, there's no world. Thank <laughs> you.